Hello, and thank you so much for viewing this presentation. This is the last in our series of how to fix your Lulu book cover. If you have been experiencing problems uploading your book cover to Lulu, we showed you how to fix it on the Lulu end through your account, through Adobe Photoshop, and now through Adobe Acrobat, the PDF creator. Now I said in the video on problems you might be experiencing, do not edit your PDF right before you try to upload it. This is what I mean. This is the cover, right? Do not click edit. So it has gone through the process of converting it. Do not click an element and try to make changes through your PDF file. This is what I mean by do not try to make changes like you're like, oh, let me just take this word out or I got a misspelled word in there. I would advise you not to do it. You can edit in PDF, but I would not advise you to edit your book cover in PDF. And I'm clicking close to get out of that. In my experience, sometimes when you do that, because I've actually done it, that's why I'm telling you not to do it. <laughs> In my experience, when I have done that, I have had some funky error messages coming up about my book cover. So do not edit it through PDF once you are done with it. Just save it down to PDF and immediately upload it. Do not make any changes. Now let's say you get a transparency didn't flatten error and you're saying, oh, I don't want to have to go all the way back to Photoshop. Can I do that here? in PDF. Yes, you can flatten this book cover image in PDF. Here's how to do it. Click more tools. Scroll down under protect and standardize. Click print production. Over here to the left, click flattener preview. Use all of the default settings. Don't change anything. See, it's set to high quality. Click Apply. This operation cannot be undone. Would you like to proceed? Yes. And click OK. That's all you have to do to it. So if you flattened it in Photoshop, but you're still getting a flattening transparency error, then come to your PDF file and use the flattener preview to flatten this PDF. If you're having any other error messages for some reason, like fonts not recognized or fonts not embedded, any of that, go to pre-flight. And here's the pre-flight dialog box. This is especially good on your manuscript, like after you convert your MS Word file uh, to a PDF, it's a good idea to run a pre-flight. All you want to do is click Analyze and Fix and let it do its magic. It will fix any errors that it finds. It didn't find any errors, so it's ready for you to save it. Once you run a pre-flight, you cannot make any other changes. Once you run a pre-flight, you need to name it something else like final, or I put in RV whenever I am completely done with my file. So I put in RV and then you'll click say, running a pre-flight, analyze and fix means Everything is good to go when this process finishes, and you should not have any problems with your PDF once you run a pre-flight and once you run a flattener. And we'll just X out of this. So that's it. That's all you have to do in Adobe Acrobat in order to make any fixes to your book cover. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching and happy publishing.